Hello everyone, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I just wanted to share with somebody the message that I, not a message, it's some I, I agree with my heart. So this is what I had been him. I thought is important to share this message together with him. You know who he is. First, first I wanted to pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I came before your throne. And I invite you here in this testimony, this video, this message I'm going to share as I hear. Feel the power of God over me right now. I am continue to minister, to help, and to share this, this dream that will help to bring something into, into the knowledge of someone about the things that uh, you are about to do in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. I go against any kind of deception from the devil. I go against everything that is interruption or any kind of um, anything that it doesn't come from you in the name of Jesus. I believe this dream was given for the purpose and it was given from you according to the word of God. In the that when you, in the name of Jesus, Amen. So I am sharing this message to someone with someone that he know who he is um, about the dream that I had about him. Um, for the first time, I want to go through what is prophetic dream. What is prophetic dream? A prophetic dream is many times when I receive me when I receive. A prophetic dream it always comes and when i wake up i feel there is a power of god over me and all i say when i say this i believe this is a prophetic dream sometimes i can dream but i can be i'm not sure if this is coming from god but when i wake up in the presence of god always i say that this is a prophetic dream i would dream this before and the dream came true um so this is what i the reason what i i decided to share this dream is because i wanted that somebody i've been dreaming about that you know who he is to know that i had this dream and in this dream is about so when we talk about prophetic dreams we talk about um, because god has been using dreams to talk with people before God spoke with people in dreams with Abraham. God spoke with dreams in me. When Joseph at that time received a dream that there was a 12, uh, 12, there was 12 stars, moon, and the sun was born down him. And um, it was interpreted by his father. And that made his brothers very jealous. But then it came to pass. So it's my, so prophetic dreams always must come to pass. And in, according to the Bible, they say that every prophecy must be tested if it is from God. Because even the devil these days can also, because they say the devil is a copycat. A copycat, that means he always try to copy what God is doing. So because of the, the devil's work is all about to deceive us or to send us into wrong direction or to create confusion. Because God, our God, is not the author of confusion, but the devil is. So when you get to the message that is bringing some confusion, so it's very important to know sometimes it can happen that you get dream, but it doesn't come from God. And um, even if uh, that's why it says that uh, the Bible says that uh, the prophecy must always be tested, always must be tested. If it is from God, for the first, the prophecy of the word, it will not go against the word of God. That's the first thing, and it has to be tested. Another thing, the prophecy is not only should be tested; it should be tested here, and um, it shall be. It has to be confirmed if it is so complicated, especially when it is. Asking you to do risky things because God will not test us to the point that we can't be 
God cannot send you to do wrong things, harm thing, harming, harm, harmful things. And when you receive those kind of dreams, these kinds of prophets, perhaps they are not coming from God. Especially when you are asking to go and sin, it can perhaps not coming from God. But also, the prophecy that is coming from God, it must be confirmed. So this is, I'm just trying to tell, so that um, to, just to warn about prophecies. Um, myself, every, I have received, somebody came to me one time and told me that I, I have received a prophecy that you are, you are my, you, you're my wife, some kind of. So I told this guy, you, I also needed to ask God. But it, it was obvious not from God, that message. Because God can, as I said, God cannot, when God is bringing people together, he first can create connections in the heart. And this is something about God is always equal, he creates connections. And um, you will feel that this is absolutely from God. But so it was like this. So my uh this I'm just trying to give this advice is that is not all prophecy comes from God, but it also prophecy must be tested. The Bible says that even if somebody comes with a prophecy to the church, you shall not ignore it, but to ignore prophecy is not good, but to it has to be tested if it is from God before anything else. And how we test it is People may pray about is to pray about is to ask God to confirm in another way, because God can have the different ways of confirming His words, as to maybe can using someone else to give the same prophecy, or it can be like using someone to give to give to to show that to confirm He has the other ways of confirming. So. If you have received a message that is really confusing you, you can test it through praying more and asking more God to manifest more about it. So this is the message I was received. This dream I had received, it is uh, that I mean that it is a prophetic. It is, it just came after when I prayed. And you know, there was something happening actually. Yeah, this guy did. Oh, he did. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I feel like I felt like it really hurt me. It really hurt me that I had to ask, to pray to God, to ask God to heal me. And God sent healing and he healed me and he started to feel good. After that, you know, after that, I asked God about what next? What shall I do next? What, what what shall I do next for the first? And he, he shall tell me if you understand what I mean. And after that, this is when after when I slept, I received the word. I I I, I slept. So I was dreaming that I was sleeping together with him in the same bed. We were sharing a pillow like one pillow but he was on the other side and the other side but his feet and my feet was on the lid some kind of it was a little bit sloppy some kind of this but we were sleeping in the same bed and was sharing a pillow my arm was over his like and his arm over mine like we were hugging this was how the dream was and so suddenly the power of God came over and this power is very strong that, you know, I felt like I was so scared. There was some kind of, I felt like I could faint because it was very strong power. And it was, it came with the, it, I felt like sounds in the power and how it was coming, it was really scary. So, and he also felt this power and this power was also very strong. So, Myself, because I believe that he doesn't believe in the power of God. I was happy that he experienced this. So I was telling him, this is the power of God. I was, he was some kind of afraid. And I told him, don't be afraid. This is the power of God. This is how it is. Also, I was giving him a direction. It seemed like God is sending 
It is it is seem like there is an attack, and God is sending power to protect us. And after I did that, then I woke up. So this dream was about protection. It's about protection. So when I woke up, I realized I was it was a dream and I was alone in bed. So I woke up, I sat. And the power of God was still very strong. It was very strong. The same, it was, I mean, the power of God was still there, even if I was alone, but I realized that this is, this is how the prophet dreams are. I realized that God was there and he was sending a message. After when I received this message, so maybe I should say, in one time Jesus was asking his disciples, who do you think I am? And the disciples say that maybe you are a prophet, you are, uh, you are that prophet, or you are somebody. Blah, blah, blah. But then Peter say that you are Messiah, the Son of God. And Jesus told him, Peter, blood and flesh hasn't revealed it to you, but you have been revealed by my Father in heaven. So this is some kind of when you receive, you, when you got, even if when you are dreaming, sometimes it can be you yourself is speaking. But this is how you are revealed by God that this is how it is. Understand? Or you, maybe you are revealed by God. So how to interpret it is like God is telling you something, but is using your own spirit to talk like I was telling him. God is sending protection. You understand when there is attack. So, in my interpretation, is that God is still there and He hasn't given up on you. And um, God will provide protection in in when you are in danger. It tells me that there are things you are afraid. Maybe there are things that they are giving you fear. There is a fear is around you. Perhaps there are people you are afraid of. Perhaps there are so it's kind of God is trying to give you give the revelation that you shall not be afraid because He is there to protect you. And he will send help whenever you need help to protect you. When you receive the message that God is with you, it means that he has given He has given you his open arms and he tell, you shall call me anytime when you need help. You understand? So it means that if there are the things that are giving you fear, you're afraid or whatever it is, you shall from now, Know that you are fully protected by God. And God is going to protect you from all your dangerous animals, enemies, I mean, dangerous enemies, I say. People who are, maybe we, maybe there are people who are threatening you. I don't know. I say, I think, I, I don't know if there are some people who are threatening you or there are things are threatening you or there are things maybe they are making you, you're putting you into fear. I cannot say I know everything, but I feel like you fear something. And remember, God is with you. Whenever you face a problem, whenever you face you come into difficult situation, have faith that God will answer you when you pray to him and to ask him for help. To strengthen you, I give you my own, um, well, there was one time when I was in very trouble and very, very, really, I could have lost my life that day, that time, because I was in really, really trouble that I felt like living was no longer, was no longer for me. But then the Lord sent me help. He sent me a word through a woman. 
and this woman was on television. I was watching television. I was watching Gospel Channel. And this woman called to Gospel Channel and she said that she was given a message by Jesus to tell to someone, to a woman. And how she was explaining that, it was obvious she was talking to me. And she gave me this word, Isaiah 41, 10. I'm just giving you the same word so to strengthen you, that Isaiah 41, 10. Whenever you face a problem, remember this word. Yes, if you, you have Bible, open your Bible and you read this word. You can write it down. You can put it on everywhere. Where, when, whenever where you can see it, you can you you you, you can be able to, to to remind yourself every time about this word. You can have it in your anything you want. You can put it in on your wall if you want. Whatever you are, whenever you need it, strength, you just open and read that book. That word will really strengthen you. I always do that. This is something about how faith work you can yes try to memorize it so that you have it in your memory so when you have problem you close your eyes and speak that word in you, your spirit and it gives you strength amen understand eh? so this is what i'm just trying to to try to tell you that god is with you and he is with us this is what the dream was all is about. So God hasn't given up on you. Continue to seek him. Continue to fight. Because we are saying we fight. We are here on earth. We fight. Continue to fight. Continue to fight. But remember, God doesn't want you to have other goals. So don't confront God by by doing things which are wrong, like worshipping other gods, seeking help from other gods. Just have faith that he himself is able to help you. I'm strengthening you because I will also be praying for you, but I can, it is very important that I strengthen your faith. Amen. Other things we are going to talk even more whenever when I... Remember, I can try to post. Father God, thank you. Even I know that your presence is here. I feel your power today. I get a mistake. I say thank you so much, Lord, for your power. Your, and uh, as I continue to strengthen him, I believe that you will your spirit will do even more in jesus